Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith of the Smith and the Black Channel here at Kicker Talker with the Strat Time Report. And one of the things that uh, I do if you go to the Smith and the Black ch Channel at Ticker Talker is all my videos are free. And right now I'm doing a series called The Broadening Formation Phenomenon, an epic poem. And I'm going through my entire universe showing you the series of broadening formations because of any industry's biggest miss it would be this, the, un, the, the lack of understanding that this is how price discovery works. And so, if we go to the SPY, and you're going to see up here the five minute. We drew this yesterday. Here. Here. This is how price discovery works. Do you see this? Lower lows, higher high. Lower low, take them out on the high to close here gap it down for more price discovery, and then rally it all the way back up here. Now, the question is, are we going to come back through again? And if you look at the monthly here, you're going to see how it did it again on the monthly. This is a five minute from today and yesterday, and this is the monthly. Back and forth, higher high, lower low, higher high, lower low, right? And so how people don't see this is just beyond me. So if you get a chance to go to this series and see it, um, I'm pointing them all out to you. If you go to yesterday, I got to, I'm doing it alphabetically, so you can refer to anything you want. And LGIH was, just happened to be yesterday. Look at that. Boom. Right? And this is what you look for. Higher, high, lower, low. Higher, high, lower, low. Higher, high, lower, low. And then boom. Once that, once that discovery gets big enough, that's when you get the real big moves. You might recall a couple weeks ago I was on Benzinga and I was not able to talk about Facebook. Right? And then I made a video about what I would have said. And let's take a look at Facebook. Right? <laughs> we were talking about this. Inside day back through previous range. Where's it going, Rob? It's going to take them all out, right? There's your broadening formation. Then it gaps down and comes back. This is a reversal back up. Guess where it's going? You got it. Back to the highs. So um, all that kind of stuff, you know, like I said, get into my video library and you'll be happy you did. So um, what's going on today? So right now we want to see if the spy's weak enough to come back through again. So right now what happens in the lower left is now... Oh, I'm sorry, what's this? Here's your 60-minute. Does this look familiar? And then down in here, here's where it was on Benzanga, down lower left, right? During this reversal here, which came back through previous range, which made lower lows, which then came all the way back up and took out this previous range into the highs, right? That happened. Okay, so if we go down to here, now we want to see we got inside bar on the 60-minute. Which side of this thing do we break? That's something you really want to know about because we got a bit of a mixed bag uh, as far as the... Uh, as far as uh, this, the sectors are going, IBB, your strength, and Labu here. And you can see this on the upper left, the daily outside day, right? And what's that? An outside bar on a shorter time frame is this in the lower left. It's a broadening formation. You see this? Like so. And back through previous range. Now it stalls out up there. We'll see how that goes. We had some good ones like um, uh, Crispy, Crisp. Here, now you got your inside 60, right? I also talked about picking up on algorithmic trading over the weekend in an article I wrote and posted. And what you want to look for is you want to look for green on all time frames. The monthly, bright green. The weekly, bright green. The daily, bright green. Anytime this 60 is green, they told algorithms to buy and they told them to take the offer. And they told them to do it now. So when you see stuff like this, that's how you pick up on algorithmic trading. So you got the crisp, you got blue here coming out of the ashes once again back through previous range down the lower left that's what you want right and so we're alerted to this because of the strength of the labu and just looking around and vrtx vrtx another nice one green on all time frames as you can see and one of the continuation patterns you want to look for is this on the weekly you take out a previous high take out a previous low and then go right here as soon as it takes that out why because of these outside bars that i show you because they exist, and, and that's a phenomenon. It's not a pattern, right? It's that price discovery tries to take out this range, then it tries it there, and then it goes back up in here, and then these two bars on a two-day chart are an outside bar of that. If you go to ALNY, and ALNY now stalling out on your 60 in the lower left, but just like that, VRTX, look at the weekly. Take out one side of the range, the other, boom, these become an outside bar of all that. And you can see that on a daily over here. What is this? Look familiar? It should, because it's in everything. If we go to um, 
ACAD, this is on the gapper list. The ACAD on the monthly, you're going to pull this out and you can see this. Like so, right? <laughs> Price discovery in all of its glory. Take them out and then all the way back up. So just some exhaustion risk going into the highs. Uh, you had the Walmart popping up on some Amazon new stuff, and you see that's now stalled out. But uh, if you go to a shorter time frame, I'm going to show you how to get in on something that's really moving. If that's your thing. So when it took off, remember those weekly charts I just showed you? That happens on all time frames. So if you go down to the one minute chart and Walmart states to take off, here it is. Right here. Stop them out, right? And then these two become an outside bar of that. So when it starts running, you just wait for that lower low and then boom, right there as soon as it goes. Uh, we've got uh, checkpoint CHKP here coming up. Just keeping an eye on these futures. Still stuck inside 60 is the S&P Spider. And Chris, we already did one checkpoint. So checkpoint, I'll get this water out of here. Not everybody's into the one minute chart, so we can shrink down this monthly. Like so, but, but what, we're, what we're doing here, like I said, I'm picking up on algorithmic trading, is here. Why at the, the, the strat time, half time, we want to look for things that are nice long red and green bars, right? That means they're moving. Some people are like, I missed it. How do you know? Maybe it still keeps going. If you're going to be up 10 bucks, you got to be up five bucks first, right? All right, broader averages just stalling out as well. They should with the mixed bag. Uh, we've got overstocky coming up here. Overstock, and you can see this bright green on everything, all right? So then we can try and get down, find an easier way in. Here you go, inside 15 or boom. Inside on the 30, and here's your measured move up, sideways, measured move, and here's your greater broadening formation in overstock. Nice price discovery you got there. Higher, high, lower, low, higher, high, lower, low. Kaboom. Uh, if we go to um, uh, the gold, JNUG was moving. How's JNUG doing now? Gold's still staying near the highs, and JNUG a little tough to see on the monthly, but uh, and the weekly because of the splits. But it's a nice bright green day, and so we'll see here on the 30. Up, down, if it can take this out. 119.64 in the next half an hour, so we'll see. Otherwise, we can get an inside bar out of that, too. We had uh, Snappy. And snap stalls out here trying to go up on this, just backs off again. But you can see upper left, the inside day, right? And one of the things we look for here, the outside bar, take out one side and then come back through because this becomes an outside bar of the original outside bar, a la Netflix, right here. Did we talk about that? We sure did. There it is, still going, right? Um, we got uh, Shop. And shop, here you can see upper left had an outside day yesterday, so we wanted to see if that was going to continue. It did not. It comes back in. So now the potential of the outside bar, we're getting countered by another outside bar. And even if it doesn't make it today, all right, it could do it tomorrow. Like we said, that compound three was like this, those uh, continuation patterns. Okay, market's still trying to drop, dry up here a little bit. Then we got some weakness in the financials. You got Goldman Sachs. Coming down here. Well, let's get this monthly. So we're still early on these monthlies, but Goldman Sachs. And all you want to look for is when this market has, rallies up like it has, something taken out yesterday's low. So Goldman not totally falling apart, but we'll see what the 60 says here. Now it's going inside and down on the 60. So for the next hour, looking for signals below 201.21. It's there. You got the cards DFS coming down here. All right, DFS and going after last week's lows with Capital One. Like so, and Capital One coming after last week's lows, and you can see this inside bar then poke up, right? Boom, stop these guys out there, there, and there, and take them out. And the hopes is that gets worse because look at the monthly down in the middle, taking out last month's lows. That's problem. Right? That, that, that problem. Merck Express getting closer to doing that too, and you can look and see them very similar. They pop them up. There's your broadening formation, all right? Higher highs and lower low to come through here. Now we're going to see if it's going to be weak enough to take this out. Broader average is not giving us any new indications as yet, but SPY still closer to this on the 60. This is something we want to know about. We're going to take this out right here. 
three sixteen twelve because once again here's your broadening formation if they do it once they could do it again as you've seen on the monthly back and forth back and forth you got Wells Fargo ah yeah taking out last week's month's lows here right and coming back through so keeping an eye on this spy getting closer Burl Burlington Coat Factory here once again lower middle inside month to the downside right so all month that's a good signal below 190.96 right so you can stay on that and see if we can find any more signals for you lift having some issues here lift and lift hasn't taken this out yet it does take out yesterday's lows it's not totally falling apart but here's the monthly lower middle is what you want to pay attention to if we can take this out Below 30.55 is got where that's going to have some problems over there in lift land. We got some of the usual suspects, right? You're Boeing. Yeah. <laughs> Boeing. And here you can see on Boeing, lower middle, the down, inside, and into the lows, right? So the magnitude on this was to take that and that out, which it did. Then the hopes that it continues, right? Because you're taking out yesterday's lows, but you're still five days stuck in here, right? You've got VMW. VMW trying to take that 60 down. Didn't get out of here. Not really falling apart. But anything taking out yesterday's lows and getting closer to, um, and taking out, getting closer to the weekly lows here, which would be 146.26. You're getting there. That would be some problems for that. QDEL not playing well today in the bio land. Usually one of our, our favorite on the, t on the upside. But here you can see this. This is called a kicking pattern. It's actually a variation of it. Normally, it has to gap down completely below this. But look, if anybody was short this thing yesterday, it got carried out. It went straight up, right, and closed near the highs, right? And so if you're long that, you can stay long because, you know, there's no, no problems. But then when it gaps all the way back down here and starts taking this out, anybody who stayed long, these are the guys who got running for the exits, right? It's not the end of the world but uh, on something like this, but that's definitely something you want to look for. And then here's your inside 60 in the lower middle. See if it's going to try and, try and do that again. Still watching to see if these broader averages start to break here. Uh, we've got some usual suspects, the airlines. Ah, not totally getting killed, but looking for anything. Here's an inside 60 here in American. United, so I'm going to see if these inside bars break on the 60s. Get them going back towards the lows. Uh, LMND still moving around here. How's this guy doing? And not for everybody, but uh, anything that has this much of a range in, per, in a day is something we, we're definitely going to watch, right, and look for good signals. And here you can see how that comes up and takes out the previous range highs right in here, right? And then boom, right here, it expands all this stuff. You see that? Right like so. That's your broadening formation right there in all its glory. Right now the market trying to break. Spy taking the inside 60 to the downside. So now let's see if we can go all the way back through. That would be fun, well, wouldn't it? It would. Okay, just a couple minutes to go. Here we got um, F5 having some issues here. And F5, you can see trying to take this inside 60 down lower left. Right, and once again, upper left, inside day, poke up, and then boom, come back through here. You're going to stop them, 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 them. Now the next two guys are down there if you can make it that far. Right now we got the break, and here you go, QQQ. Here's how you find this one lower left look at this this pattern is how is simply just how price works all right do you see this test the range test the range test the range test the range go inside and puke there you go all right we got sdgr also having some issues and you can see that taking out yesterday's lows and coming back to the previous range right that's something you want to know about right and then we'll see what the 60 starts to look like if that can set up. Again, it did go 60 down, so we'll see because you got red on all time frames, right? And in the upper middle, potentially outside weak. That's what you look for there because we know these outside bars exist. Uh, if we go to Ulta, Ulta, inside 60 in the lower lower left, right? And so just below yesterday's lows, that's a couple of things we look for. I also had some weakness in like Northern Grumman, General Dynamics. Not enough time to get everything in one day, but that's why I'm on the headset all day long calling this stuff out and going after it. So go check out these videos. They're free. And then maybe come see me because I'm on the headset serving this up all day long. All right, that's going to do it for today. I'm Rob Smith. Oh, let's do my Motorola one more. Tee-hee.
here, Motorola, taking out last month's lows, MSI. There's your bonus. All right, I'm Rob Smith, the Smith on the Black Channel here, Ticker Talker with the Strat Time Report.